number 70. Oh my goodness, this isn't in either. Looks like you are ready to be sentenced on this case today, and okay, you pled guilty way, way back when. She was on diversion. She failed diversion apparently for some reason, but how did she fail diversion? I never started it. I think yeah. that's what they you said. Never, you never did it in the first place? Yeah, that's what they said in arraignment yesterday. Okay. And bench warning a few times. Okay. Do you have other charges? Have you ever picked up any other charges? Okay, I'm not accepting this sentence. That's ridiculous. Um, no. I'm sentencing you to a... How long have you been in custody? Um, well, they picked me up in Fayette Sunday morning. And you have no charges anywhere? No. The jail would also refuse to give her pants and any kind of hygiene products that she needed. No pants? What? No. I've been wearing this since I came in with this on Sunday. Um, Excuse me? Excuse me? This is outrageous. Is this for real? This can't wait. I'm sorry. This is going to take a little bit. Hi, Jenny. This is Judge Wolf in courtroom 102. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm actually calling to talk to you, Director Bolton, or anyone uh, who can come to my courtroom and tell me why there is a defendant, a female defendant, standing in front of me with no pants on. Um, and she's been here for how many days, ma'am? Um, I got here um, like three days ago, two or three days she's ago. She's been in our jail for three days. And it reports to me that the jail has refused to give her pants and feminine hygiene products. Uh huh. I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm very sorry. Can we get her something to cover up with? Anything? 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 I don't care what it is. We're sitting in the back until. Yeah, let's take her back. Also, I'm changing your sentence to a hundred dollar fine, credit time serve for that. Who? It's a shoplifting charge, a first time shoplifting charge. Seventy five days? No, we're not doing that. What is this? Am I in the twilight zone? What is happening? Yes. Clark, this is Judge Wolf in courtroom 102. How are you today? I have a defendant who has been in your all's jail for three days, who was standing in front of me completely pantsless, has no pants on. She has requested pants for three days and has been denied pants for three days. She has no pants and she is in court. And she has also been denied feminine hygiene products. What the hell is going on?
Absolutely. And I am holding her here until she is dressed appropriately to go back to the jail. This is outrageous. This cannot happen. And she was brought in from Fayette County and I don't know what happened to her pants, but she says she has requested pants and they have been denied to her for three days while she's been here. And she is not dressed from the waist down in my courtroom. Thank you. And she's gonna be released today, but I want her dressed before she is taken back over to the jail. Before I bring her back out, can we discuss this? Sure. What? I'm the one who brought them in. Okay, let me check. All right, so they're just taking some time. Hi. Well, she's got a uniform now, and I got the UVs with her. She should have been dressed like she was. She should have been. also claiming on the record today that she was denied feminist hygiene products the entire time that she was here. Um, and the worst part about this is that um, she was, this is her only charge ever, she was picked up on a bench warrant for a diversion case that she failed to complete. So really, I mean, she should have been in jail for maybe a day and out. And she was but she was picked up in Fayette County, so she was had she had to sit there and be wait to be brought here, and then she got here. Well, <laughs> pants are the hygiene products. She had to sit here for several days, all over a, basically a sign, mm -hmm. which is not your all's. This that's not your all's. That part's not your all's fault. That's just adding insult to injury for her. I think. Um, so I think her, given her circumstances, she's somewhat upset. Up. But so she, she does. She's clothed now. Is what you're telling me. So I can bring her back out here. Um, all right. Uh, I'm sure that you all are going to take that up with Jeff. So unless it's very stressed with this discovery. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming over. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> That's all I can say. I wish she had told me before she had come out here because I would have addressed this without her. Oh, God. Okay, let's just bring her back out so she can get her out of custody. Her, okay. Yes. Again, I want to extend my deepest apologies to you for the way that you've been treated while you've been in our jail. This is not normal. It is not normal, and, and I've never There's seen it happen. There's a lot of girls up in Fresh Arrest that have on, like, similar clothes to what I had on, and they haven't given them a uniform. Like, I don't know. So you're telling me that there's a lot of people up there right now that are and in the same some, situation. They took some of them out like earlier today when I asked, they said they wouldn't give me a uniform top, went to a different dorm. But they moved a lot of girls out last night. But like, it's like I came into booking and they were giving some people uniforms. They weren't giving some people uniforms. Like, like I don't know what they were picking and choosing, what their criteria was, but. There's only one way that's going to get corrected. If you know what I mean. 
I've, I've already I've already talked to uh, three people from the Department of Corrections. I can't explain the situation. They have assured me that it was a mistake and that it won't happen again. Um, but given the information that you're telling me, it, it makes me feel like that's probably not correct. Um, maybe just what they're being told. Uh, obviously, those aren't the people that are actually uh, interacting with you. Okay. So um, I, I just want to tell you how incredibly sorry I am that you've been treated this way and no one deserves this, particularly, particularly, no one deserves it, but particularly in a, a situation like this where, you know, you failed to complete a diversion program, you didn't even pick up new charges, and I am credit time serving the fine. So really, I mean, you should have been in jail for a day, tops, at, at that. And, and I will say, and you should have come to court. You should have come to court. This is the, not the part about the clothing and all that, but you, the fact that you're in custody is your fault. You understand that, right? You've got to come to court. We can't just let give people free passes all the time. But once you were arrested, the rest of this is completely inhumane and, and unacceptable. And I'm very sorry that you had to go through this. Um, I'm going to ask you to um, I think that's actually probably inappropriate, but um, at this point you are going to be released from custody and, um, and all I can say is that uh, I hope that your treatment for the remainder of the several hours that it will take to get through the, the process of release uh, is much better. Okay. My apologies.